in case the line again grinds to a halt. And Rod Hook's criticism of the current rail network came as he unveiled plans for a sky-high rail line of the future. He's trying to secure funding for the world first sky rail, connecting Flinders Medical Centre to the nearby university and creating local jobs. High-tech transport we've never seen before. This technology is not in Australia, it's not in the world. A driverless battery-powered train high above the ground is making its first stop in Adelaide. It's a double rail, uh, it's a slender design, it can operate at 100 kilometres an hour. Former Transport Chief Rod Hook is in talks with Belarusian company Skyway to build a 500 metre sky rail at Flinders University. The $13 million proposal, paid for by private investors, connects Flinders Medical Centre to the uni. If it's there, if it's working, it provides a benefit for students because it will take them up and down the hill. We've got 25,000 students um, uh, and so many of them come to our campus every single day. So that's a lot of traffic that could potentially uh, use this. Students embracing the bold plan. It's a, like innovative idea and everything. It might add some spice to South Australia. We have like a 10 minute walk between classes so the train would definitely be good. <laughs> If the project secures funding and gets government approval, construction will begin by the end of the year, with the first passengers expected as early as mid-2017. And it's not just the university who might benefit. If we can move this to become jobs for South Australians and uh, manufacture here, we will do so, but I won't make commitments or promises. Tom Angley, Nine News.